Risks and complications. Diagnostic laparoscopy is very safe. However, like any surgical procedure, there are several possible risks and complications. These are very unlikely but possible. You need to know about them in case they happen. The risks and complications include those related to anesthesia and those related to any type of surgery. Risks of general anesthesia include nausea, vomiting, urinary retention, cut lips, chipped teeth, sore throat, and headache. More serious risks of general anesthesia include heart attacks, strokes, and pneumonia. Your anesthesiologist will discuss these risks with you and ask you if you're allergic to certain medications. Some of the risks are seen in any type of surgery. These include 1. Infection deep or at the skin level. Antibiotics are usually given as a precaution. 2. Bleeding in the abdominal cavity. 3. Skin scars that may be painful or unsightly. The following risks are related specifically to this surgery. Again, these are very rare. However, it is important to know about them. In rare cases, structures in the pelvis and abdomen may be injured during this procedure. This rare complication is more common if the patient has internal scars from previous surgeries. Rarely, the tubes connecting the kidneys to the bladder, as well as the bladder itself, become injured. If this does happen, another operation may be necessary. In extremely rare situations, the intestines and blood vessels could be affected, necessitating another operation. This may mean an immediate operation with a larger incision. Very rarely, small nerves in the pelvis may be injured, resulting in decreased sensation in the sexual organs. After the procedure After diagnostic laparoscopy, you will be taken to a recovery area for a few hours. You will be monitored closely until the sedatives and anesthetics have worn off. Since you will feel drowsy after anesthesia, you should have somebody drive you home after the procedure. This is especially true if general anesthesia is used. Expect some soreness and pain around the incision sites. This is normal. You may need to take pain medication. The pain will go away in a few days and get better every day. You may experience shoulder pain for a few days, which is also normal. The gas may irritate the diaphragm, the big muscle that separates the lungs from the abdomen. The diaphragm shares some of the same nerves as the shoulder. You may experience an increased urge to urinate, since the gas can put pressure on the bladder. Avoid lifting or bending until your incisions heal. Your doctor will tell you how long it will take before your incisions are completely healed and when you can go back to work. This depends on your age, type of work, medical condition, and other factors. In some cases, you can go back to work the same day. You should call your doctor if you develop any of the following. Fever, chills, or vomiting drainage from the incision or increased redness at the incision site, a severe pain that cannot be controlled by medication, inability to urinate or severe leg pain, other unusual symptoms. Conclusion A diagnostic laparoscopy allows the doctor to look directly at the organs in the pelvic and abdominal areas in order to diagnose a problem. A laparoscopy may also allow the doctor to treat a problem or obtain a sample of tissue for analysis. Diagnostic laparoscopy is a very safe and successful procedure. Complications are rare, but they may occur. Knowing about them may help you detect them early so they can be promptly treated in case they happen.